Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am the Dependent Fanatic, and today is the College Football Resume Ranking Day. It is Sunday. Sorry it took so long. I had some other things to do today. Uh, well, actually, my garage was uh, confiscated from me, uh, so this is the first time I could be out here to do a video for you. Here we go. I'm going to give you uh, the team, where they're ranked, their record, the quality wins, the point-per-game differential, points per game, defensive points per game, and their next opponent. If these numbers do not add up correctly, that's because I rounded up and down in certain instances, but they are close. <laughs> so don't yell at me for that. Here we go. These are the top four teams right now, the four teams that I think have the best resumes and would make the college football playoff right now if the season ended today, and that would be Texas, 5-0, they have the quality wins at Alabama, Wyoming, and Kansas, all one-loss teams. Number two is Florida State, 4-0. and oh. They have the neutral site win versus LSU and at Clemson. That Clemson win is getting better now that they beat a 4-0 and oh Syracuse team and their first Power 5. Uh, they beat their first Power 5 opponent. Uh, Penn State dropped a little bit because Clemson's win is better for Florida State. And Texas gained another uh, quality win. So they dropped down two spots to number three, 5-0. Oh, West Virginia and Iowa are their wins. Michigan is 5-0. and oh, And UNLV and Rutgers are one-loss teams. Here we go. Let's move on up to number 13 because I don't know how it happened, but Ohio State slipped my mind here. <laughs> um, number five is Washington. They are 5-0. and oh. They beat Cal in Arizona. Number six is Washington State, 4-0, and and they beat Wisconsin and Oregon State. Number seven is Missouri, uh, the first, yeah, the first SEC team, 5-0, and Kansas State and Memphis. Number eight is USC, 5-0, and and they won at Colorado. Number nine is Georgia, 5-0, and and they won at Auburn. Here is where Ohio State should be at number 10, 4-0, and and they won at Notre Dame. And then Louisville should be number 11. Uh, but I'm just going to stick with 10 for the sake of this video. Uh, they are 5-0 and and 1 at NC State. Number 11 is Oregon, 5-0, and and they beat Colorado. Number 12 is Miami, and they have that win over Texas A&M. Let's move up here. There's a couple more teams that I forgot here. Uh, but we'll wait on them toward, uh, for the end. Kentucky is number 14, 5-0. They beat Florida. Now, your first one lost teams, but they have two quality wins. Your first one is number 15, Notre Dame, 5-1. They won at NC State and at Duke. Number 16 is Ole Miss, 4-1. They won at Tulane, which is a win that is looking better for them, and LSU. Number 17 is Utah, 4-1. They beat Florida and UCLA. And then a bunch of teams that still have not beaten any quality opponents but are undefeated. Number 18 is Oklahoma. Number 19 is Maryland. 20 is Air Force. 21 is Liberty. And 22 is Fresno State. Let's just go all the way up here, shall we, so that you can see the teams that I had forgotten. North Carolina and Texas A&M, they fit in here. Uh, North Carolina is should actually be number 23 ahead of James Madison. They are 4-0. and oh. James Madison is 5-0. and oh, And Marshall is 4-0. and oh. Number 25, we'll, we're just going to stick with number 25. It should be actually number 26 uh, is Duke. 4-1 and one, and they beat Clemson. 26 is uh, Kansas State. 3-1 and one, and they beat Central Florida. 27 is Oregon State, 4-1, and one, and they won that game versus Utah. And then Texas A&M actually should slide in right here above Alabama at 4-1, and one, and they beat Auburn. And then Alabama, 4-1, and one, they beat Ole Miss. And number 29, Wisconsin is 3-1, and one, and they beat Georgia Southern. Number 30 is Kansas after that loss to Texas, 4-1, uh, and one, but they beat BYU. Now, there are some teams on here, like Ole Miss, that lost to Alabama but are ahead of them. That is because this is not a power ranking. This is a resume ranking, which includes 
your record, your quality wins, your performance, uh, how many wins on the road did you win, etc., etc. A lot of things go into this. No eye test at all. My power ranking will be coming out here shortly. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Head-to-head uh, -head does not matter quite yet. It's that portion of the season in the middle of the season where it will, it will eventually, and like I keep saying, it will end up looking more and more like uh, the AP poll. It should, anyway, towards the end of the season, but this is what it is right now after week five. Thank you, everybody. Please like the video and have a great day night.